In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to ombre glitter a mug using Mod Podge. If you want to see what I do, so keep on watching. I purchased this cup from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using some Mod Podge here to apply the glitter. So these are three different color glitter. As I said before, I'm going to be doing an ombre glitter. Now, I don't know the color of these glitter. I don't know they're green. I'll be having that link in my description below so you can go ahead and check that out. So what I'm gonna do, I pour some Mod Podge in the cap of my Mod Podge, Mod Podge, oh, can't get word out, Mod Podge bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tape my cup off, the bottom half of my cup. Now you can measure this or you can go ahead and eyeball it. I eyeball applying the tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some Mod Podge and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go right across lightly and Mod Podge the bottom half of the cup. Now guys, when you apply the Mod Podge, you wanna make sure you blend that out really nice. You wanna make sure there's no lumps or clumps because the glitter will dry as you apply the Mod Podge. If it's your first time here, welcome. On this channel, I do a lot of home DIY projects and different type of crafting. If you enjoy content like this, I hope you consider joining my YouTube family. It would mean so much to me, please and thank you. If it's not your first time here, welcome back. And thank you guys so much for your continuous love and support. Once I'm done applying the Mod Podge, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna um, start by applying the glitter. Now I'm, I'm applying the darkest color and I'm doing that from the bottom up, okay? So I have my cup tilt, I have a paper to catch my glitter because you're gonna reuse that glitter. We don't wanna waste anything, okay? So that's what we're doing, tapping motion, going around and we shake it off as we go along and apply our glitter. Once I'm done applying that um, cut layer or color <laughs> glitter, I'm gonna push that to the side, I'm gonna get a new paper and I'm gonna use the second darkest shade to tie that in. That's where we're doing ombre, remember, so we wanna slightly top in from the first glitter that we apply upward. Also, make sure you um, apply glitter to the handle of your cup. Don't forget that part, okay? It can be a little tricky, but you'll get it. Just play with it and just be free while crafting, okay? So once I'm done applying this shade glitter, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna repeat the same step, push our paper to the side, and we're gonna apply the next shade of green, which is the lightest color. And we're gonna do just like we've done with the other two. We start from the bottom, or the top of the last glitter we apply and work our way up to the tape. I'm gonna share with you guys a little advice. If you're gonna be using the Mod Podge to apply the glitter, you wanna work as fast as you can. You're not gonna rush where you mess it up, but you wanna work as fast as you can because the Mod Podge dry really quick. Um, it might not fully dry, but it gets tacky where the glitter won't stick. So, um, especially if you're in somewhere, or somewhere where the, where it's the temperature is a little warmer, you wanna be moving a little quick or fast. So guys, off camera, I went ahead and I wait for that to dry two hours and then I apply a second coat. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna peel my tape off. I'm peeling my tape off while my Mod Podge is still wet. Because what will happen if you peel this off when the Mod Podge is dry, it will crack your glitter. I mean, you can go ahead and do it. I've seen other people do it and good luck if it doesn't crack. Some will crack, some won't crack for me. I'm not gonna be making over this cup. I have a busy day of making tons of cup. <laughs> so I went ahead and I'm not gonna try uh, um, experiment. I'm just gonna pull it off. So that's what I'm doing. So 
So this is what my cup look like after I peel off the tape wet. The lines are nice and grips and sharp. So after I peel the tape off, I leave it to dry for two hours. Once it was dry, I took it outside and I used some Krylon um, crystal sealer to seal that up. So I went ahead and I sprayed that on, have it seal. And once that was dry, I clean my cup down with 91% alcohol because I'm going to go ahead and apply my vinyl. That's alcohol in that small bottle right there. At this point, you could go ahead and put, after cleaning the cup, you could go ahead and put your epoxy on if you want to do that. Some people do put a first layer of epoxy on, then add their vinyl and then epoxy over the vinyl. I'm cheating here, so I'm going to put my vinyl on and I'm just going to try to use one stone to kill the bird. Okay, so I'm gonna put my vinyl on. So guys, what happened here, you probably wondering over here, I have my um, decal on my Cricut mat. You probably like, why did she cut, why didn't she cut out the whole thing full? For those who are familiar with how the Cricut works. Well, what happened is I typed these up and I, I guess I was so tired, I forgot to take the measurement on the cup so I could know what's the measurement to cut. So it was way bigger than the cup. So your girl decided, I'm not gonna go ahead and recut this. I'm just going to cut them up in pieces and resize them and add them individually to the cup. So that's what I'm doing. I'm adding all of these words individually. So I use my transfer tape. I picked that up and I'm just eyeballing trying to figure out because, you know, once you put this down, you could take it off, but it can be hard to get it off. And I don't really don't want to recut. So that's what I'm doing there. I'm trying to make sure, see how I could fit all this word on this cup because I'm not recutting it. So I'm just going to apply my uh, decal. Now guys, this is very important. I mean, is it important? I don't know if it is, but it's up to you guys. I do not throw away transfer tape. I use it multiple, multiple, multiple time for time until there is no, <laughs> no more use of it and the wear and tear is bad. So I'm using the same transfer tape to pick up the rest of my words. And I've been using this transfer tape for, I don't know, God, he knows when. But I'm still eyeballing here and I'm trying to figure out where do I put the second word in. So that's what I'm doing. Hovering it and trying to make sure I have it straight, I have it even. And it fits in pretty well with the first um, decal I added. So I'm just using my fingers and I'm rubbing that across and I'm just trying to get that to lay down. I'm going to be using my little scroogey and finish off that. Again, I'm going to use the same transfer tape and I'm going to pick up my final word in. And I'm going to do repeat the same step, put on my cup, try to figure out where to put it, hover it and um, get it even and squeeze it onto my cup. And voila, there we go. I made it fit on the cup. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some little decorative piece, which I have over here. I did the same thing again, guys. I forgot to remeasure, so some of these cut off and some are cut the right way. The, I figured how to um, put those on the cup. So I'm just here eyeballing and trying to find a spot for these to fit, because I think the gold would have given it a nice spot, but um, I'm going to be linking in the description box below the other cups that I did um, before I, their epoxy. And um, so you guys can see those. I didn't show a full video on it, but there are some more that I did. So I'll just link that in the description box below if you want to go ahead and check that out. It's like 59 seconds. It's a short video. Okay. 
So there we go. So now I have my cup on my cup turner and I mixed up um, 15 ml of epoxy, um, 7.5 uh, part A and 7.5 part B. I didn't show how I mixed the epoxy but if you're interested, um, I'm going to be linking my this video right over here. You can go ahead and check that out. You'll see how I mix um, epoxy. So I me here just going in a slow motion applying my um, epoxy to the mug. I started, I'm starting from top and I'm gonna work my way down to the bottom where the glitter is. And this is what my cup looked like after um, my first coat of epoxy. I'm gonna leave this to spin for about four hours, four to six hours. And I'm gonna stop the turner and I'm gonna let it fully dry for 12 hours. Once my cup was dry, I went in back with a 20 grit 220 sorry not 20 220 grit sandpaper and I'm just sanding down my cup to get any roughness off or any type of fish eye or ear bubble so that's what I'm doing now guys when you're sanding your cup you want to make sure you're trying to be really gentle because um, sometimes you can sand off the decal worse we put the decal straight onto the mug and this is our first coat of epoxy so you want to just make sure you're um, sanding pretty well and not, go, not going too deep over your decal, okay? So once I was done sanding my cup down, I put it back on my turner and I mix up again. This time I mix up um, 10 ml of epoxy. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that and I'm using my um, heat gun. You, I, you can't really see that. I don't know if you can see it, but um, I'm using my heat gun there to pop any ear bubble and I'm going side to side um, while applying the final coat of epoxy on my mug. So guys, you want to make sure you're getting the bottom edge of your cup. You see me running, rubbing my finger or running my finger along the edge. I did not glitter the bottom of the cup. However, I did glitter the bottom edge of the cup. So this is what my cup looked like after applying my final coat of epoxy. I'm going to leave it on the turner to turn overnight and we'll pick up in the morning. So this is what my cup looked like after it has been dry, fully, fully dry for overnight. Um, if you enjoy watching this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Also, make sure you share this video with your friends and family. This way they won't miss out. Also, please guys, go ahead and check out this video that's going to be popping up right after this video. I'm sure you guys will like it if you enjoy this. Now remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Until next time, be blessed.